So we've reached the point in the course where we're going to talk about uh, performance. Now, when people signed up for the course, uh, there were some basic system requirements for, for the course. And those may even at this stage, even before this stage, some of you with the lower system system ratings may be experiencing some slowdowns when you're processing some of the larger images, particularly STXL. Let's take a look at what's happening inside the system. So with Comfy UI, it's a little bit different other versions of Stable Diffusion. We can actually see what's happening when we run a prompt. So whenever I run a prompt, I can tell, for instance, where the prompt is running, where it's stuck, if it gets stuck. And we can use that to analyze what might need to be done if you are experiencing slowdowns. So typically on my system, most prompts run very quickly, but occasionally I get slowdowns. And the slowdowns that, that tend to occur most on my system are around here, the VAE decode. That happens once in a while. And we can actually tell what you need to upgrade depending on where the slowdown occurs. So we can inside of Comfy UI make some very large images. Some of these images get really super large. Uh, and later on, I'm going to be giving some advice on how you can tackle performance issues without purchasing new equipment or upgrading your equipment. But for the time being, let's talk about what equipment upgrades will overcome certain, certain slowdowns or bottlenecks. Now with Comfy UI, when you're creating something like this, you're literally using built-in, built-in features. So you, you have the most efficient process. You're not installing third-party plugins. You're not installing uh, extra models. You're using the built-in features to create the images. So when you start experiencing slowdowns, the only meaningful solution is going to be upgrading the equipment or behavior change. And for those of you who haven't got the means to upgrade equipment, we can talk about some of the behavior changes that you can do later on to mitigate uh, some of the slowdowns. But for the time being, let us talk about equipment upgrades. With Comfy, when we see a slowdown happening here, it's telling us that the system is running out of graphics memory. And that's the main reason why the VAE decode process doesn't take a few seconds, but ends up taking several minutes. So more graphics memory, a graphics card with more VRAM. That's what you need to, to overcome that. Um, I'll have some suggestions for graphics cards that would work well uh, with, you know, 16 gigs or more of VRAM. Um, but that is the solution for that. Obviously, I'm assuming that you're smart enough to shut down any, any, any programs that you don't need to use at that moment in time to see if that fixes it. The samplers, this is an area where there's usually some kind of minor slowdown. And in fact, most of the benchmarks that you see online, they're talking about the samplers. They're talking about how fast the samplers run. Now, the samplers, sometimes with Comfy, <laughs> and I love Comfy, I don't want it to change, but sometimes you can accidentally just change one of the settings and that can lead to all sorts of problems. So if you get slowdowns with the uh, samplers, just check the number of steps to make sure that nothing's funny in the interstep counter. Uh, but if you see the line not progressing, if it's just stuck, that's a really bad sign. And that's a sign that you've got a system that is completely, uh, it's exhausted the, the VRAM in the system. That typically doesn't happen on the sampler. It typically happens with the variational autoencoders. If it happens on the sampler, that's a bad sign. Try shutting down any software you don't need to use, any tabs in your browser that you don't need to use. If that fixes it, that's fine. Uh, but if you still have problems with the samplers running very slowly, again, we need to get a more powerful graphics card with more memory. And that will cure that problem almost certainly. The final area where we tend to have problems, and if you're wondering where this particular workflow fits in, I'll, I'll be, uh, we're going to be talking about this later on. We're going to be talking about creating landscapes and portraits where we're using very sophisticated techniques. Uh, and I'll give you this, this particular, this particular workflow. Now, when it comes to the third place where you can get slowdowns, it's the checkpoint. And with the checkpoint, it's very easy. Uh, you just need a faster drive on which to store the checkpoints. So that's going to be an SSD drive 
or an NVMe drive. The NVMe drives are better. The hard drives are fine. My hard drives can load up a seven gig, um, what, six gig? No, a, a two gig checkpoint in a few seconds, half a minute. But once the hard drive reaches thermal throttle point, once it gets too hot, it slows down to a snail's, uh, snail space. You don't want it to reach thermal throttling point. And it reaches thermal throttling point faster than SSDs and it reaches that point faster than NVMe drives. So aim for the NVMe drives. Those will cure the problem for years. Uh, you won't have any problems. And SSD drives are much, much better than hard drives. It's the one situation where an SSD drive is going to really, really improve the performance. You can end up waiting for half an hour for one of the checkpoints to load up on a hard drive. So those are the solutions, the hardware solutions. Later on, we'll talk about some of the behavior changes that you can do to ensure that you can work with uh, the images and understand the principles without necessarily suffering from having very, very large uh, and demanding images to work with.